In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly why your brand is stuck between 50 through 100K per month dropshipping. A majority of dropshippers do get stuck in this range, or if they're able to spike past this range, they usually only stay there between one to two months. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the strategies that I and other big e-commerce brands use to stay at high six figures or seven figures per month in revenue. There's three main reasons why most e-commerce brands do get stuck between the 50 through 100K range. Number one, your creatives are probably ass. Number two, your offer is probably ass. And number three, you're too scared to lose money. Hey, sorry to interrupt the video, I just forgot to mention in it. The most frequently asked question I get is about how to make better creatives. And if you don't know, I've been making my own creatives ever since I started dropshipping. I do not outsource them, I do not hire anyone to edit them, I make them completely on my own. So I'm currently working on a very in-depth course on how to make million dollar creatives. And I'm looking for about 10 people who either comment on this video or just DM me on Instagram to give them the course for free just to get as much feedback as possible on it. This will be the most advanced and in-depth course available for making million dollar creatives. You can either Google it or look up on YouTube. I promise I promise you all the information out there is very basic and very elementary. So this will be the best course available for making winning creatives. And I know this will be useful for everybody in the dropshipping community because you can study the course if you wanna make your own creatives or use it as a required training for any freelancers you hire to make your creatives. And if you're hiring a company to edit your creatives for you, studying this course will allow you to tell them exactly how you want your creatives made just so you're not left with shitty creatives for those of you who are outsourcing your ads. I told you guys before, creatives are fucking king. I'm gonna show you a product that went viral and I'm gonna show you a brand that's doing well and a brand that's lacking behind. So if you're already between the 50 through 100K per month, you've already validated that your product is a winning product. Now the issue is that your customers probably think that you're a brand that's scamming people online. So they're either too scared to purchase from your shitty looking store or from your shitty looking ads. And most dropshippers are failing when it comes to their creatives. That's because they're using the same ad styles, the same hook, the same people in all their ads, the same layouts for all their videos, and they're overall just not testing enough. All right, so diving into the products I was just telling you guys about, um, as you can see, it's this hair eraser product that went pretty viral on TikTok, and this is just one of the brands that's running it. Um, and I believe these guys are priced at about, and these guys are priced at, well, so the brand's name Hero, and they're priced at about $25, which is probably double what Amazon is. We're just gonna be looking at the creative, so just taking a look at the first video. I have the sound off in case there's any copyright issues, but this creative sucks only because the first Freaking five, the first five seconds are the same clip. Nobody's gonna stick around to watch that. The lighting's also terrible on this one this, and the first one. And whatever the hell this is. Anyways, and as you can see, their creatives are pretty ass. That's exactly why their brand isn't doing well. I mean, they might be doing with organic, they might be doing well with organic TikTok, but as far as paid media goes, this is terrible. Like they have only, they have three running ads all of them, two of the three, two of the three are the exact same style of ad. And one of them is just complete butt. And I'm gonna show you another brand that's running the exact same product, but they're doing between 500 to a million dollars per month in revenue. And we're gonna see if you can like, spot the fucking difference between their creatives. All right, so as you can see, this brand is called Bleem and they're selling their product for $39, which is like $10 more than this, which means it's like triple to quadruple the price of Amazon. I just come to show you that Amazon, it does not fucking matter if Amazon people are undercutting you. This product has been viral for a minute, so you know that there's a bunch of Amazon sellers selling it for a quarter of this price. So obviously it comes down to your branding and marketing, not how much more expensive you are than Amazon. Now taking a look at their ads compared to the other guys, you see they have different layouts for their ads. So I canceled my last- Sorry. Oh shit. So layouts are super important for your ads. And what I mean by layouts is just the way that the ad is designed overall, not necessarily the content inside of it. Just real quick, we're gonna watch a couple of them so you can see the super eye-catching um, intro for their ad. And then on this one, yeah, another waxing one, which is, it's the same intro concept, but you're not seeing the same person on each ad, which is which is great, it's exactly what you wanna do. I canceled my wax appointment. Another waxing one. I bet if we scroll down, like right here. Now this is a, damn. And they have a completely different intro right here, which is exactly what you want to do. You want to be hitting customers with different angles for your product, different intros, different hooks. That's how you run an, that's how you run a brand. And here they're retargeting. The retargeting videos aren't the same as their cold traffic videos. More retargeting, pictures and images. A before and after, which I'm guessing is probably a retargeting ad. 
I can finally wear short short. But as you can see, this brand is running a buttload of creatives, all with different intros, all with different people in each ad. Every single ad is different. They're not just re-editing, they're already winning creatives and launching them over and over again. Which you should be doing that until you find the variant of your winning creative that works best. And then you don't want to keep reusing that same content throughout all your ads. Now I'm going to show you another million dollar brand. I'm sure you guys already know Dr. Squatch. But just quickly scrolling over it, look at the mass amount of creatives, hooks, thumbnails they have. They're always testing new things, and this is exactly what you want to do with your own brand. And I know you're like, oh, this is because they have a huge budget. They can do whatever they want. Shut up. You can do the same thing with... Yeah, anyways, looking at the mass amount of creatives they have, look, they have a bunch of different thumbnails, a bunch of different intros, a bunch of different styles of ads. A bunch of different style of ads. Like, you'll see this one has whatever type of layout that is. But a big thing you want, you're going to notice is that they're not really reusing the same intro ever. Um, if they're re they might reuse the same style of intro, but it's never with the same person. It has a huge takeaway you're going to need to apply to your brand because a lot of times people see that, oh, this girl or this guy did really well in this first three second clip of my creative. But if you're reusing it, this, if you're reusing that same intro all the time, nobody's going to want to keep watching your videos. But not only that, when you're doing retargeting warm or hot, you want to be able to hit them with brand new creatives on their feed, on their stories, on their reels, on their TikTok. You basically want to have your brand popping up in front of them as much as possible. Just so you're growing that social proof with your customer because they continuously see your brand. So if they ever do decide to buy a product like this, your brand's going to be the first one that comes to their mind. Okay, another huge concept that you need to understand is that just because your first offer took you to 100K per month, doesn't mean that that same offer is going to be the one that gets you from to 500 or a million dollars per month. For example, we're going to look at this product. And I'm not sure exactly how much your cost of goods sold is, but I'm assuming it's somewhere around the $8 mark, and that's why they price it at 25 bucks. Once you're at the 50 to 100K per month mark, you really want to be testing different offers to see which one gives you the highest conversion rate. Now, I'm assuming, but I'm not 100% sure, but they probably haven't tested different offers for this product. So they're selling one for about $25. So let's say their cost of goods sold is $8. Maybe they can test an offer where it's buy one, get one free for $30. Maybe a different offer is buy one for $16. Or maybe they could even test the $30 to $40 range for one unit, which I know sounds crazy. Like, oh, why are you going to increase the prices? Because sometimes even if you do increase the product price, your cost for purchase might not even go up, which means there'll be even more profit margin. But again, these are all things you want to test because maybe that increase in price will really drop your conversion rates. But when you're testing different product offers, you don't want to do it on the same product page that's already working. You want to duplicate the product and then change the offer and run ads to this new product page with a different offer on it. And I honestly think this one might be the most important strategy that you get out of this video because once you unlock the best offer for your brand, your revenue and profit are going to skyrocket. And lastly, this point, I said it was you're scared to lose money. I know a lot of people that are running their brands are scared they're going to do these tests, they're going to ruin their optimization, they're going to lose money one day, which I get it, it's understandable, but you need to understand if you want to get to these high scale numbers, you, you have to take the risk with your media buying. You need to be testing different offers all the time until you find the best one. You need to be testing different creatives, you need to be testing different landing pages. You have to do... You have to do all of these tests that, that, yes, most of those campaigns will probably lose you money. But once you find the best combination of your creatives, your landing page, your offer, that's really when you're going to be able to turn the fuck up and get to 500k per month and be able to hold it consistently because now you know exactly what landing page works best, what offer works best with your customers. But if you're too scared to lose money doing these tests, you're never going to be able to hit these, con these high scale numbers. You want to be copying these big brands like Dr. Squash, Curology. All these brands are in highly competitive niches, yet they're still able to make millions per month, even though Amazon or other competitors are charging half their prices. All right, that was actually the end of the video. I just forgot to mention that if you found any of this content valuable, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to the channel to see more content like it. Again, my channel is dedicated to more advanced dropshippers, so if you're a beginner, not all of these topics will apply to you. And I'm also helping people do one-on-one -on -one consulting calls, especially for um, media buying and just brand strategy overall. I've already helped out a few people from my last video. Again, I made these calls affordable just so I can help as many people as possible. But all right, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next video.